Listen up. Thanks. Pardon? Okay. Miss Fujinomiya, we've been expecting you. Thank you. Man, this place is stuffy out the ass. Whew. How's the view? Crystal clear. Gotta hand it to the Daidoji. <laughs> this really is just like 007. If you say so. We're about to set foot inside. If we start to lose connection, let me know. Okay. Look after those two Kiryu-san. And be careful. Will do. All right. Let's get this done. <sighs> Damn suit's gonna suffocate me. And these socks make my feet feel all itchy. And why doesn't everyone just wear sandals? Ugh. Can you grow up? We're on a mission. Right this way, Miss Fujinomiya. Mm. Wonderful. Well, Kiryu-san? Care to be my arm candy tonight? As you wish. Whoa! Oh! Damn! That was cool! Uh, hey, guys! What, what do I get to do? I don't know. Hold my drinks. What? <laughs> oh, come on! We're on the elevator. You still with us? Uh, a little spotty here and there, but it's fine. The security at District 5 was nothing compared to this. No kidding. Chichon really came through for us. Thank you for waiting. Floor seven and a half. Good luck to you. So, the casino's just beyond, huh? Right. The real game's about to begin.
Yeah. This is way cheesier than I imagined. No. This place is definitely catering to the VIPs. Take a look. What are those? Gaming plaques for all the high rollers. One right there is a hundred grand. <laughs> for one bet? Fuck that. Kasuga, you seeing this? Yeah. Anyone look like the kind of guy Wong To might approach? Like someone really raking it in? Not yet. Hey, handsome. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Just giving you a little change of scenery. <laughs> Thank you. By doing that? How thoughtful. Well, we looked around, but didn't see anyone winning big or making a show. Most of the guests here are Asian. And look, they're all having a blast. overheard some of the other guests. Apparently the owner's gonna show up soon. The owner? That has to be Wong To, right? Yep, sure is. Seems he's here just about every day. You said soon. How soon are we talking? Well, I can't say for sure. <sighs> Actually, yes I can. He's here. That our man? Welcome to the Nirvana Hotel. Your family's contributed so much to us over the years, Chitosi Fujinomiya. Oh, and our unannounced guest, Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. So you knew from the start. And I thought you might have noticed. Before you even stepped inside, we already run all sorts of body checks on you. No reason we can't sniff out a few spy gadgets, especially here. After all, we welcome VIPs from every corner of the globe. No, for VIPs, this crowd sure doesn't act like it. They're a special breed. The guests here have grown tired of the usual luxury, you see. They come here because they want to satisfy their superiority. Over what? Over this whole idealistic country. That's what. These people share a common thread. They were all chasing after the great American dream. A dream that prizes machismo and freedom over all else. The America they sought was too good to be true. Yet all the while, it told them they were vastly inferior. So to rid themselves of that feeling, they worked their fingers to the bone. But by the time their hard work might have finally paid off, the America they knew was long gone. This new America valued diversity, condemned masculinity, and now more than anything, put caution over freedom. Right. And you're dealing out the American dream in spades, is that it? Exactly. This is the America they held in their hearts. A place of promise they secretly hated just as much as they sung its praises. And we let our guests fulfill their heart's desires to the absolute fullest. Quite a concept, wouldn't you say? Enjoy yourselves, and I'm sure you'll agree. Unfortunately, we're not here for that. We're here for you. Well, that's quite the honor. You're most welcome. Especially this Kasuga I've been hearing so much about. Might I ask that he join us as well? Tell him to stay put. 
They're up to something. No. Whatever his goal is, he's threatening Kasuga right now. He's saying if he doesn't come, we'll all die. <sighs> I see you know how this works. That's it then. You get all that? Yeah. I'll head up right now. Ah. <sighs> Seems he's here. Jay, you guys all right? All good. <laughs> I swear, I will never get used to this sort of thing. You don't think? Glad you could make it. Welcome, Ichiban Kasuga. Thanks for the invite. There's a lot I need to ask you. Not when I have questions for you. And I'm sure you know what those are. Akane-san, right? We're here for the same thing. That's fine, but it's a little loud here. Please, why don't we take this to the back of the house? Drinks are, of course, on me. Not gonna let us enjoy the place a bit? We're here as your guests, after all. My apologies. However, a minute with me is rather expensive. Suffice to say, you might as well have hit the jackpot. Aren't we lucky? Just putting it out there. Anyway, let's go. Please. What the? This is it. This is the big boss's office? I heard of cutting corners, but man. We got an all-access tour of your friends the Barracuda's place the other day. Their boss's pad is straight out of a Mafia movie. Guess you like to keep things simple, huh? A long time ago, I was desperate to surround myself with expensive things. I worked for my money. So why not? But at some point, I came to see the truth of it all. If it had a price, I could get it. Whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted it. As long as I was sure of that, the possessions didn't matter. Have, have not, it makes no difference. This is all I need. The things that get the job done. For me, that's this desk, this chair, and this computer. The people out there rejoice and wallow over dice and cards. And with every passing bet, there's still none the wiser. So maybe the customer isn't king. But all that aside, I can't say I'm one for looking down on people. <laughs> Perhaps I said too much. I doubt there's very many who could relate. Now, to the matter at hand. Ichiban Kasuga, you're the estranged son of Akane. The director of the Palikana Orphanage. Do I have that right? Actually, I'm still trying to confirm that myself. But yeah, probably. We're looking for Akane as well. If you know her whereabouts, I ask that you please tell us. Naturally, you won't leave empty-handed. Sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Huh. You seem confident in that. Care to put it to the test? 有一套刘张嘴说话，除了春日都杀了，不二宫的女儿也是。Huh? What do you say? Like it even matters. You fellas better get ready. Stance! 
can't land a single hit. Attack without thinking. He's gonna dodge every last one. What's the holdup?
follow my lead. Think you can handle this? Oh! It's over! Too slow! I can do this! Lucky until now, but that luck's about to run out. Interesting. I may have underestimated. Not out yet. We can do this anytime. Might as well. Time to go all out. Something wrong? <laughs> Let's go. 
Got no choice. Let's get it done! Time to go all out! I'll take you on. Prepare yourself! I love going to Thanks, yo! Best. Ready as I'll ever be. No way you're on my level! What's the hold up? Allow me. This could be it. We can do this anytime. I'll take you on. Woo! Well, I'm waiting. Something wrong. Let's rock. Oh, You'll end up. I can do this. Think I'm getting stronger. Think I'm getting better at this. Hey! I'm even stronger now. Uh, uh, impossible. Just who are you? <laughs> Looks like your numbers were off a bit, huh? Finally hash things out. Got a lot to tell us, after all. I want to know why you're after Akane-san. What are you gonna do once you find her? Also, who the hell told you I was her son? Maybe try one question at a time. Oh, it's your pick. You're telling me either way. Look, you're all out of chips at this point, see? Mata. Wangto. Right? So then should I assume you're the boss of the Ganja? More like... Commander. Oh hey, my bad. Alright, Mr. Commander. Why go through all this trouble to get to Akane-san? She's just the director of some orphanage. What's a nice lady like her got to do with you? Better answer while it's still me asking the questions. Kiryu-san's not as friendly as I am. You were tougher than I expected. So I'm actually a little worn out. But don't worry. A few minutes with me, and you'll practically be singing. Look, I'd prefer giving that mug of yours a break. Besides, you've got your boys watching you. Making you cry out in the open like this seems a little cruel, don't you think? I'd rather not embarrass you. We were asked to look for the old lady. It's the same with the Barracudas. It's a... a request from the Overseer. Overseer? What do you mean? Aren't you the Overseer here? I'm not talking about some pit boss who runs things at the Nirvana. I mean the Overseer of this whole state. 
Wait, all of Hawaii? The Ganja and the Barracudas may seem like competition on the surface, but in reality, we're all just cells of the Overseer. In the end, he's the one pulling the strings. <sighs> that meddlesome woman. She made off with the Overseer's treasure. If we were to get it back, then he'd owe us for all it's worth. In fact, I'm sure he'll pay that and then some. The hell? Huh? Hey, sit down! Lauba 什么意思? Hey, say something we can understand. Him. What was he saying? That my betrayal would be known by all. Overseer included. So the guy who jumped, he was one of the Overseer's spies. What else did he say? He said something about setting off a signal. And he jumped. A signal? Then is that why he jumped? Was his death the signal? My son's in danger. My son! What? Hurry up and untie them! My boy needs them now! Wait, huh? Uh, but... I'm not too clear on it, but do what he says. It seems like an emergency. Oh, if you say so, Kiryu-san. Please, let me see my son. He's in the penthouse. It's, it's on the top floor. Fine, but not on your own. We're coming with you. Then this way! Hurry! Hey, how old is your son? He's only six. His mother left him some time ago. I've got a sitter with him. Six, huh? He's just a little guy. You are... We're too late. My son's already been taken. Then, are these guys? 
That's right. More pawns of the Overseer. Seems I have no one left to trust. I can do this! Doing better than I thought. Who knew I had it in me? Kanto! Any idea where they're taking your son? No. And regardless, we need to get far away from this place. Please, you have to get me out of here. I'll tell you whatever you want. Right now, there's no knowing which of my men I can trust. Here, you son. Let's start by getting out of this hotel. Come on, we need to find a safe place to lay low. That guy might have been an ally, you know? At this point, who's to say? We've no time to worry about him. Wamto's left the hotel with Kasuga and his crew. They're heading south. So make sure you tell the cops they went north. Got it. Over here! Someone just fell out the window! 
come quick. I've never seen anything like this. Hello? Yeah, Eichon? Kasuga-san, the news is all over the internet. What happened out there? An employee was thrown out of a window at the Nirvana Hotel. Kasuga. Sorry, Achan. We'll talk later. And the police? They're taking off. What's that mean? Simple. We're on our own. If the police didn't see it, it's not their problem. Damn it. That bastard. Is there anyone he doesn't control? Hey, tell me. Have you always been public enemy number one? No! I was... The Overseer played me. I never expected this. Well, maybe you should have. Shut your mouth! That's enough. Now stay calm. We'll make it out of this. Moment of truth. Let's go! The battle is on! Time to go all out! <laughs> so you scared? You're in it now!
We did it. <sighs> yeah. Ah! For a son of a bitch! Ah! Hey, Wong Tu! Shit! chi Chan, you got a bandana or something? We gotta tie this up and stop the bleeding. Yeah. Hold on, I think I had something. Wong Tou's key here, and we'll need the time to talk. What's more, we need someone we won't get attacked. Well, for that, we'll want to get ourselves a car. Still, let's start by getting out of here. Hey, Ichiba, we're moving Wong. Give me a hand here. Yo, Ichiban, let's stop here for now. Give him a sec to breathe. Hey, you all right, Wong Tou? I'm feeling a bit lightheaded now. To think everything was fine before you all showed up. Yeah, must be hard. All right, I'll find us a car. No point trying to get him up on his feet again. Good plan. We'll get him patched up once we're at the safe house. Appreciate it. I'll come back as soon as I can. Yeah, Godspeed. Are you sure he won't betray you? <laughs> hey, maybe you can't exactly trust anyone right now, but Tomi will come through. Oh, well. Even if he does keep his word. It won't mean all that much to a dead man. Well, you look all right to me. Just hang in there. There's a lot we still need to hear from you. <sighs> and that would be... You were looking for Akane-san. That's because this overseer asked you to, right? You said Akane-san's on the run with some kind of treasure. Yeah. Who is this guy? Just who is this overseer? The overseer. He's got more control over the island than I'd ever thought possible. He placed spies in my organization, spies in the police. He's even got insiders with the Barracudas. And their loyalty, the lengths they'll go to, it's the real deal. You saw it, didn't you? The way that man jumped back there. He gave his life just so I'd be branded a traitor. For no reason other than calling me out. The Overseer. The one in charge. Is Bryce. Bryce? As in the Sage of Polycana. Conniving old bastard. He's the one who had us do the search. No way. I met him. He's the one behind this? Why? After everything Akane-san's done, all she wanted was to help people. And now, an entire religion's coming after her? <laughs> <laughs> 